All right, the NOAA releasing its latest drought report. You can see much of North and South Carolina pretty much out of drought conditions right now, but not really here in southeastern North Carolina. You can see eastern parts of North Carolina, eastern parts of South Carolina still classified as either abnormally dry or in most cases here in southeastern North Carolina, moderate drought conditions continue. And even during the month of January, even though we had a little bit of a wetter finish to the month, we still saw below normal amounts of precipitation. So we definitely need more rain to make some progress on the drought. Tonight might be an opportunity opportunity to get some rain it looks like tonight and tomorrow morning some uh, decently uh, heavy downpours could make their way through southeastern North Carolina. Keep that in mind if you're heading to work tomorrow there might be some uh, heavy rain around. And let's time everything out now with our hour by hour forecast model. We're going to start the map off here at seven o'clock in the evening. We have your temperature in white. Your feels like temperature in blue. You can see at least the wind is not a sure cold enough to be sure. You can see temperatures hovering in the lower 40s right now. Some of the heavier rains indicated by the darker greens and yellows sagging into southeast. And that's exactly where the temperature are expected to stay through the balance of tonight. You can see Eastern North Carolina during the overnight hours and even tomorrow morning. First thing, pretty good chance there'll be some rain around. Notice the temperature really doesn't go much of anywhere. Still in the lower 40s right when you wake up tomorrow morning. But colder and drier air begins to make its way into the area starting tomorrow afternoon. A little bit of sunshine may get highs close to 50 degrees tomorrow afternoon, but temperatures are going to take a nose dive as we head towards uh, tomorrow night. Look at that 34 degrees by midnight tomorrow night. Look at the feels like temperature down to 27 and we're talking about a three peas night. We're talking pets, pipes and plants here as you head towards Saturday morning. Temperatures starting off in the mid 20s. Look at those feels like temperatures dropping down into the teens. Highs only in the 40s Saturday afternoon, but eventually warmer weather will make a return. How much rain are we talking about? Well, at least the potential, maybe of an additional half uh, inch, maybe up to an inch in a few isolated spots here during the overnight hours. We'll happily take any rain we can get, but uh, won't completely knock the drought out, but it certainly would be a step in the right direction. For the rest, for tomorrow, 49 your high, some showers early in the day. Northerly breeze around 10 miles per hour. You can see that rain chance about 40% starting off around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, but dropping to near zero as drier air begins to move in for tomorrow afternoon. Overcast conditions and even some showers as we take a look at the uh, West Shore Home First Alert Sky Camera Network. You see some wet streets right now in both Surf City and in White Bulls. There is a little bit of light rain around. It is showing up on the First Alert Digital Doppler. You see some patchy rain around Wilmington, stretching down into uh, Brunswick County now. Also northern portions of Pender and parts of Bladen County still seeing the shower activity. And you can see the rain gets even heavier and in some cases uh, more widespread as you head further to the north and west. And this is going to sag its way into the area as we head for the rest of the evening and overnight hours. So 49 for tomorrow. Look how cold it's going to be Saturday morning. 24 wind chill values in the teens. 44 on Saturday, but temperatures bounce back quickly on Sunday. 60s for highs. Maybe some more opportunities for rainfall by the middle of next week. If you buy prescription